All right, guys, so I'm at Best Buy. I got the Mate 10 here on deck, right? Looking pretty good. And uh, but look at the nice price. <laughs> look at that. There it is. Mate 10 right here. Yeah, obviously, it's got to be a wrong price. Mate 10 Pro, 6-inch phone. We got a pretty good price on here. Best Buy is kind of trying to make some money. <laughs> There it is, Galaxy S9, Galaxy S9 Plus. Got black versions here. And we got that awesome, just beautiful purple edition here of the Galaxy S9. This awesome, this gorgeous. And we got the fast charger on deck. All right, the good people at uh, Best Buy, give me a little hands-on time with the Galaxy S9. And I got the Galaxy S8 here, all right? Just kind of get some hands-on time with it uh, and uh, kind of put it together here first thing I want to tell you that I like the build quality kind of uh, a little curvier over the Galaxy S8 and I kind of put those together a little bit so y'all guys can see this hmm here all right kind of flip them over a little bit as you can tell that I do have my my skin on the Galaxy S8 as you can tell the Fingerprint scanner has moved down, and uh, but uh, look like to me, looking at it, that the Galaxy S9 is a little shorter, and it does have a little more ergonomics with it, uh, which is probably a good thing, especially if you uh, put your hands on. All right, uh, so let's go ahead and go over the specs. 845 processor, six gigs of RAM. This is the Plus model. Uh, you do have that uh, Quad HD Plus display. All the bells and whistles here. Still got the, you know, forehead and chin, same as the Galaxy S8. Okay, look at that. All right, you still got your button placement at the same spots. Uh, this is the black one here. What are the features that uh, Samsung is toting on this device? It's a super slow mo. Uh, which, uh, if you watch my YouTube channel, I do have videos of uh, the Sony XE Premium that shoot the uh, 900 and uh, 60 frames uh, slow-mo, so uh, just kind of be advised of that. Look at that. Well, you know, one of the biggest issues that I had with the regardless of devices is, is cameras, right? So let's go to the, go into the camera, and uh, all right, so you got some new features at the top. You got Pro for live focus. See, they kind of put it all at the top here. Look at that, okay? You got AR emoji and all the hyperlapse and stuff like that, okay? And uh, let's see, we got Pro Mode. Let's go to Auto, the settings here. All right, so we got the rear camera here. Let's go ahead and go to our settings. And listen, we still have this issue here. Look at this, okay? Look at this, UHD 60, uh, UHD, QHD, and FHD at 60 resolution does not support uh, tracking, autofocus, and video effects. Uh, so just kind of keep that in mind. That's the same disclaimer we had in the Galaxy S8, Galaxy S7, Galaxy Note 5s, and stuff like that. So you do got your features. You got UHD 60, uh, FHD 60, and you got your other modes here. So one of the biggest complaints that I had uh, when uh, doing Samsung devices is, of course, the cameras. So let's see if we can get some see if we got the autofocus problem here okay some people say that the autofocus has been fixed with the Samsung devices it looked like to me it may be accurate and I got to get it in the house to see but uh, as of looking at it we don't have any focusing issues so that's a good thing uh, but you only limit it to 10 minutes which you know uh, not a bad thing uh, I've seen that in a lot of uh, galaxy phones and stuff like that 
So let's talk about the displays on both of these devices. Uh, and as you know, out of the box, uh, Samsung always kind of put their displays at the 1080p. But as you notice, uh, that the Galaxy S9, which is this one here, and the Galaxy S8, uh, the displays are at the Quad HD Plus. Uh, and um, the Galaxy S9 is running Samsung Experience 9.0, and the Galaxy S8 is running uh, Samsung Experience 8. So you definitely see some difference here uh, as far as the settings. Over right there, we have full brightness. Look at that. And look at that for a second here. Okay, back it into the resolution. And again, the screens look pretty similar. Uh, I say the Galaxy S9 is a little colder versus the Galaxy S8. Okay, take out of here. And uh, let's see, we do have edge panels on both devices, as you can see. All right, so one of the biggest questions uh, that I always have uh, when they do these videos is uh, with the devices running, it's running Android 8.0 or Samsung 9 Experience. Uh, looking at my old Galaxy S8 as of March of 2018, I'm still running Android 7.0 uh, with uh, Samsung Experience 8.1. Uh, which, you know, I've always been talking about that on this YouTube channel uh, that, uh, oh, they got Bixby. <laughs> so I got Bixby rolling here uh, that just popped up out of nowhere. So it's going to cancel Bixby out. Uh, one of the questions I've always been having uh, when I've been doing this YouTube channel is that um, Samsung had done a very poor job, in my opinion, when it comes down to software updates. So again, Looking at uh, the Galaxy S8 versus the Galaxy S9, uh, we are definitely running the old outdated version of Android on the Galaxy S8 versus the Galaxy S9. So if you want to get the new iteration of Android, all the bells and whistles, especially with Samsung Experience 9, I know you got to get the, uh, the Galaxy S9. Hey, I tell you, one of the things I'm kind of witnessing here as I'm doing this video, the Galaxy S9 is a little warm here. So uh, that's uh, kind of something. And again, this is probably a pre-production unit here. So uh, once I get that device in hand, uh, I will probably do way more testing uh, what I got right there. So this is my coverage of the Galaxy S9 here. Shout out to the people at Best Buy, let me film. I got a good rapport with these guys. They kind of let me do a lot of things here at Best Buy. So shout out to Best Buy for letting me film here.